coolest super secret best friend handshake ever. ever! Ready to go online and check out the new trailer for Flamethrower Bunny the Movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eight new fun hairstyles that will change your life forever? Oh, <laughs> Angelo, the curls are totally you. <laughs> yeah, Elena's laptop is busted, so she's been using mine until it's fixed. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Quiz? Did I see the word quiz? Bring it back! I love a good quiz. Uh, it just looks like some pop-up on Elena's site. Best friends quiz. Compiled by world-class experts, this quiz tests the level of your friendship? Dude, imagine the sad, gullible fools who'd waste time on this garbage. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Let's take it! Question one. You're a ballet dancer, okay, auditioning against your best friend. Do you A, try to win, B, lose on purpose, C, refuse to compete? <laughs> Question. If you and your best friend were caterpillars, but you turned into a butterfly first, would you A, wait for your friend to become a butterfly, B, help your friend become a butterfly, or C, leave your friend behind? Um, how about I fly up to that expert who made this stupid quiz and tase him? <laughs> quiz results. Yeah. Here come the results. Only 12% matching answers. You are not best friends. This quiz is garbage. I never failed anything in my life. I mean, never. Hey, come on. Let's watch that trailer for Flamethrower Bunny the movie. Uh, I gotta get going. I gotta get home for dinner. Uh, it's two o'clock. What are you, geezer? A little early for dinner, bro. But, okay, cool. Later. Best friend handshake. Huh. I know Sherwood better than anyone. We've always been best buds. And right now, he's overthinking that stupid quiz. Tomorrow, I'll just have to doubly prove to him that we're best friends. Simple. <laughs> Did you won. BFFs know all each other's quirks. <gasps> no! Hey! Uh, BF? Are you trying to kill Sherwood? What? No! <laughs> You wouldn't know it, since, uh, it's something best friends know about each other. But Sherwood is allergic to pistachio ice cream. Um, it's not pistachio, Angelo. It's mint. Well, mint is only, like, Sherwood's fourth favorite flavor, so... Uh-oh. The best friend meter says sure and I aren't as tight as usual. Watch me fix that. No problemo. Strategy two. BFFs have their own secret language. When we were little, Sherwood taught me a nonsense gibberish language that we've always used just for fun. Must sheep shop a gluka. I'll just bust out a little of that to remind Sherwood of our unbreakable bond. I'll take this shirt. My other one got ruined with ice cream. Fum nook! Baby glug! Mubla! Sheep! I can't believe you remember this. Uh, um, cash or credit? Cleek's new! Whoop whoop! Gahoo! Whoa! What are you doing, man? It's our best buddy nonsense gibberish you taught me. It's not nonsense gibberish. It's an actual language I learned from my grandfather, and some people understand it. Goop fling, poo poo, fling. Huh? You just called her a pig faced goat tickler and demanded she go jump into a volcano. What? I didn't know those words meant anything. How could you not know? <gasps> So embarrassing. Come on, man. It was funny. A pig faced goat tickler? It was a little funny, I guess. See, I know what I'm doing here, folks. Strategy three all BFFs have inside jokes from way back when. So I'll just. I like tacos. I like tacos. Come on, man. I like tacos. I don't get it. Don't you remember that one time? We were skateboarding, and suddenly the legend, Ollie Van Dunk, shows up. And he's all like... Dude, you guys want to blast out a sick skate session with me? The Ollie Van Dunk wanted to skate with us. And you go... I like tacos! Ha! Your skate helmet was covering your ears, so you thought he was asking us about food. Man, it was funny! <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... 
I pretended to think it was funny, but I felt like a fool. Thanks for opening up old wounds. But... Look, I should get going. Oh. Best friend handshake? Huh. Maybe the quiz was right. But it can't be. Sure and I are solid, right? <laughs> Man. Can't believe it's over. We've had so many great times together. <sighs> Roll the clips. Well, I guess it's time to change our buddy page status from best friends to some guy I know. Ugh, this stupid quiz again. What I don't get is how two guys who knew each other so well could have such different quiz answers. Hey, wait a minute. Let's see what happens when I retake it while pretending to be both friends. That way I'm sure both sets of answers match. Quiz results, only 12% matching answers. You are not best friends. That makes no sense! Don't lose your best friend. There's still hope if, but only if, you attend the intensive best friends boot camp this weekend. Only five bucks. Now it makes sense. That quiz fails you just so you go to their stupid best friends boot camp. Sherwood has to know this. Where are you? Super important news. Add screen face emojis. I've got to find him now. Sherwood! 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 Ha! Ha ha ha! Lola, have you seen Sherwood? He and Butterfingers went to something called Best Friends Boot Camp. Gah! Lola, you have to come with me to Best Friends Boot Camp. We don't need some weird thing like that to prove we're friends. It's not for us. It's for me and Sherwood. I need to save my friendship with him. Why would you need to do that? We failed a Best Friends quiz. <gasps> Sherwood failed a quiz? Oh boy. Say no more. So this is Best Friends Boot Camp. Oh, Best Friends Energy Drink. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, it's got two mouth holes for sharing with your best friend. Gives you the energy you need to live your friendship to its fullest. <laughs> oh, we've got lots of exciting new innovations in friendship, all designed to bring you and your best friend closer together. Let me show you, let me show you, come here. Bracelets made with rare, powerful Costa Rican friendship crystals. Proven to increase feelings of closeness by 30%. Can you imagine that? Hey, or Best Friends Glue. So you can attach yourself to your best buddy and be together forever. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Look around and help yourself. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so stupid. Beans for two. Because friends who pass gas together stay together. There's no way someone like Sherwood would buy into all this. <laughs> Ow! This is like the night time you did that. This is hard. <laughs> oh, come on, Butterfinger. What are they doing? Looks like some kind of demo teaching people how to do a best friend's handshake. Oh, what? Peter? Cooper? What are you guys doing here? You guys are already BFFs. You don't need help. Yeah, but we do need that t-shirt with two neck holes. If you and your partner pass all the BFF tests, you win that shirt. And your crown best friend. And those two losers over there only have to get the handshake down. And they've won. Ooh. If that happens, I'll never be able to convince Sherwood that we're best friends. You want to be best friends? You've got to hug that special friend right now. Everybody, hey, hug. Check out Zonka leading a hugging 50, workshop. 50 hugs right now. You call that a hug? Pathetic! Give me 100 hugs now! Ma'am, yes, ma'am! <laughs> Wait, that's it? Hugs? Better than that. I'm going to tap into the most wonderful of all things that best friends share. Making fun of stuff. Angelo? What are you doing here? Just, uh, checking out all the people bonding. I guess nothing brings friends together like being bored senseless. <laughs> You're right. True bonds of friendship are forged in buying useless, overpriced junk. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Dude, they should have called it Huge Ripoff Boot Camp. <laughs> Or five dollars you should have spent seeing Flamethrower Bunny the movie boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. We don't need anyone telling us we're best friends. Hey, they're right. I didn't want to admit it, but this boot camp is a huge waste of time. It's garbage. That's what it is. I want my money.
money back right now! Yeah! Come on! I want that double this is crazy! And my money! No, no, no. Nobody gets their money back. Come on, all yeah, sales yeah, I want are my final. Money back. We're all friends here. We're 30% more friendly than we were just an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was all those beans for two I ate. <laughs> the last sign of having a BFF? The universal language of best friends. <laughs> Noises. <laughs> Come on, Butterfingers, let's get out of here. I also tried the beans for two. Really, Butterfingers? So I hear that you guys have a surprise for all your fans. Yeah, we wrote a brand new song as a tribute to our big sister. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for our big sis. Really? Why's that? You see, a few years back, we was ready to pack it in, start selling kitchen knives door to door. And what she said saved our lives, really. I'll never forget those words. Don't be bloody morons! And pull your pants up! Huh? Words to live by, my friend. Words to live by. That's why, as a thank you to all big sisters out there, we're organizing a competition. Competition? Whoever comes up with the best short vid about their big sis will win four backstage passes to our next gig. Man, I'm an only child. My older sister is all grown up and moved out. Maybe I can make a movie about how she always forgets my name at the holidays. Huh, for once, having a big sister is going to be useful. You know, sis, our relationship has always been very special to me. And I just... Why are you talking? I must say, Ange, I don't see much video material coming out of your relationship with your sister. Every relationship has its own unique language. There's something special here, I just gotta find it. Guacamole, smelly pony! Wait a second. So what if I have no sister around? I'll just pretend I'm Peter's older sister. His extremely cool older sister. And make a movie about us and submit it on Peter's behalf. Hey, big sis! Ugh, why are your hands so sticky? <laughs> Go easy on my little bro. He may drive me crazy sometimes, but I still got his back. Always. He'll be like the younger brother you never wanted, but now you need for your video. Exactly. Peter, let's go. Yay, Lola! Angelo, I don't know how you're gonna make this video. You drive your sister crazy sometimes. What makes you say that? Oh, you drive me crazy! Dude, don't be ridiculous. She loves me, she's my sister. The vid is gonna be great. There she is, Elena, my favorite sister. I just what wanted to... Who unplugged my phone? Maybe now is not a good time. Oh, look, I'm all charged. Uh, gotta go! Angelo! Angelo! Maybe you should call your movie Angelo. You know, like with the exclamation point. Why? Fresh? Oh, sorry, here you go. Just using it to clean Lobster Man's butt. Angelo! I don't know, just a thought. Angelo! Sure would, my friend. Siblings have a language of love all their own. Well, your language sure involves her screaming your name a lot. Yeah, yeah. A few little mess-ups can hurt the bond that connects us. Elena and I are all good. Angelo, quick, give me the remote. Sybil's answering Roberto's marriage proposal on my show I recorded, because it's like my favorite show. I cannot live without it. What's wrong? I thought you were all good with her. I said Everything good, not great. What? Well, I might have recorded that slobber interview over the season finale of her favorite show. I know it's here, because when I said things to record, you... Roberto? Angelo! I just don't see her making a happy siblings video with you now. Again, it's a sibling thing. I know her weaknesses. One in particular. Prepare to play... Benjunji! Oh! Mama say what? Elena's favorite game when she was little. She won't be able to resist, and I'm gonna let her win. Benjunji! Oh! Why do you keep doing that? Dude, that's how you say it. Benjunji! Stop. Relax. It's gonna be great. Benjunji! Oh! Benjunji! 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 Okay, here she comes. Just keep the camera rolling. Three, two, action! Hey, Elena, check this out. I found your favorite game in the attic. Wanna play a little? Benjunji! Aho! As if. I'm no longer a child. I'm a woman. A broken woman who missed the season finale of Ever After! Oh, come on, you're fine. Benjunji! Aho! Benjunji! Aho! That's getting annoying! Come on. Just one little game of. Benjunji? Oh! Well, all right. Just one game. 
Like we're brother and sister, and I'm gonna film us. Understood. Rolling. Rolling, 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 New plan. Let's play soccer instead. Pass me the ball. My vid is gonna be about the one thing that is unique to all older siblings. What's that? No idea. Why do you think I'm sitting here talking to you, dude? Ugh, I give up. Peter is dangerous. Whoa, easy. That's my little bro. How's it going with Elena? Really well, thanks for asking. Hey, that's mine. I'm hungry. <laughs> Boy, if I only had an older brother, he would fix this. He would look after me, because that's what older brothers do. But oh, you don't, and if you did, I would just pound his head in too. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, well, have a good day a and enjoy your cupcake. <gasps> That's it! An older sibling's job is to look after the younger one, to protect them. They can't help it. It's in their DNA. You sure about this? Positive. All I have to do is put myself in a dangerous situation, and Elena will protect me. And you film it. How do you know she'll protect you? Dude, it's not up to her. It's science. Check it. What does Minetti love even more than a cupcake? Uh... Huh? I don't know. Exactly! Nothing! Nothing is more important to Minetti than enjoying a cupcake. Sherwood, don't stop shooting. I'm only doing this once. Family therapy is another option. Action! Hey, Minetti, your cupcake smells like Coach Sanka's armpit. What? Is that a new flavor? Yeah, smell it. Hey! What the... <gasps> <gasps> Sweat setting up this course, huh? How come you didn't do the course, dude? I was just gonna ask you why you did. You okay, Minetti? You can't run anymore. Huh? Man. You can't quit. You're a Minetti. You never give up. Oh, you'd be surprised. Quitting is like a family tradition. My family quits jobs, quits teams, quits okay, bathing. Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, I can't even remember why I was chasing you. Dude, I smushed a cupcake in your face. Oh, that's right. Get back here. I'll bring it back later. Thanks. I'll bring it back later. Thanks. I'll bring it back later. Thanks. Oh, oops, sorry. Come on, slow down. <laughs> Elena, help! Yeah, and I was like, should I buy the blue one or the yellow one? Uh, sorry about both and the red. You just gotta trust science. I got you now, Cupcake Swoosher. Ah! Everyone should have a really good fake scream. Practice yours in your free time. In front of your friends, in front of your dog, in your closet. And when you need it, you'll have it. You can thank me later. Hey, Pinhead! Don't you dare touch my little brother! But I haven't touched him yet! I haven't ruled it out, You but... touch him and I'll open up a can of whooping so hard your whole family will feel it. Uh, uh, we, uh, what? <laughs> He's my little brother. I'm the only one who gets to pick on him. Understood? Uh, no one has ever called me a pinhead before. Is it bad? Get lost! Yes, Miss Elena. And cut! That's a wrap, people! That's a what? I don't even have any makeup on! 
Come on, open it. Slobber is proud to announce that your movie, It's a Sibling Thing, is a winner! Ha -ha! We got four tickets backstage at Slobber's next concert! Yeah, Slobber! Ah! And we have an extra ticket. Who should we invite? There's only one person that I couldn't have done this without. What do you want, Snobrain? I just... I want to thank you for saving me. And I want to invite you to come with me and my friends to the Slobber concert. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cool, really? Really? Try really lame. I wouldn't be caught dead at some infantile concert. I'm a woman now, so get out of my face, dorky dork. Ugh, no worries. Turns out there's another person I couldn't have done this without. A person you might not expect me to choose. Manetti. What? How'd you know? There's no one else in the story? All right! <laughs> My first concert ever! Works for me! Works for me, too! Ah, the perfect day! I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, this is all a fantasy. I'm dreaming, maybe. Or making this whole thing up. But nope. This, my friends, is realer than real. Just blended using only fruits you request. Gracias, Senor Zanka. <laughs> my dad had to stay up late to finish your homework. Zanka, Herr Butterfingers. I got the slobber concert ticks. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get front row seats like you asked. I hope that's okay. AJ, my man. I said two tickets in the front row center. Uh, uh, you trying to ruin my perfect day? Uh, no. I I'll see what I could do. Onward, porters! Oh, hi there. Interested in how you two can live the dream? <laughs> I had a feeling you might. Follow me into the past. <laughs> it all started at the beginning of the school year when Elena called in a favor I owed her. She wanted me to babysit Peter. Even though I had tons of better things to do, I couldn't say no. Because the week before, I had asked Elena to let me borrow her J-Pod in exchange for a return favor, which she could ask me to do at a time and day of her choosing. Here's the kicker. She made me seal the deal with a pinky shake. As I'm sure you know, a pinky shake is as good as law. It's stronger than a spit shake and is more weight than a written contract. The pinky shake has a long tradition, dating back to cavemen times. According to historians, the pinky shake was first used by Cro-Magnon Man when he agreed to share fire with Neanderthal Man in exchange for tips on cave painting. Legend has it, Christopher Columbus made a pinky shake deal with Amerigo Vespucci to name the new continent after him, in exchange for his mom's world-famous lasagna recipe. And from what I've heard, Slobber got their shredderific guitar skills from the devil himself, in exchange for an advanced copy of their first album. Sealed, you guessed it, with a pinky shake. Like I said, a pinky shake is serious business. It was while I was babysitting Peter that I was struck with the inspiration for the most colossal, the most genius oscill idea of all time. Second only to electronic babysitting. I was going to start doing favors, big and small, for everyone, and seal them all with a pinky shake. Then I would call in all the favors owed on one day, which would forever be known as the perfect day. It's a gift from Tracy, but you're welcome to it, Angelo. Hey, thanks. To be honest, things kind of got off to a shaky start. <laughs> hey, Mr. Uh, security Guard Guy. How about you go get a little refresh on that latte macanate, and uh, I'll take over for you in exchange for a favor later. Pinky shake on that? Yo, what are you, crazy? Break? Security never sleeps. I'm on alert 24-8, 369 days of the year, including every other Sunday. Huh. Huh. Ah. Want me to spot you, Coach Zonka? Oh, yes, Angelo. That would be very nice. Yeah. You'll owe me a favor, then. Pinky shake? Oh, the pinky shake. Oh, I can play. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 
uh, maybe it's a bad idea for a weakling like you to spot me. I did have a little success with Dad. How about you do a Zeus tossing a thunderbolt down from the skies next? But it took a buttload of work for one little favor promise. Since trading favors wasn't going as smoothly or as quickly as I planned, I brought in an expert for some advice. According to my calculations, at the rate you're collecting favors, times the amount of work put in, divided by the square root of favors you'll need, hmm, it'll take you 10 years to achieve a perfect day. What? 10 years? That's a lifetime! Now, I suggest a more scientific approach, then. Meaning? Meaning, before you make a trade, figure out what the other person really, really wants first. Yes! And make sure it's easy for me to do! Of course, Sherwood! I know, I know. I'm a genius! You know, I was gonna say the same thing. You're a genius, my friend! Do go on! I would love to. Want me to record a voicemail message for you where I declare your geniusness? In exchange for a favor later? Pinky shake? Hey! I know what you're up to. You know I like being called smart. And you're using that knowledge to collect one of your perfect day favors, just like I suggested. Guilty as charged. Well, on the message, can you call me Sher Genius? And that was when I started using Sherwood's patent pending custom approach. Gifts, favor exchanges, outright butt kissing, it all works. I started with the easiest deals first. Oh, cookie! Hum, nom, 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 nom. Hum, nom, nom. And let's not forget the previous favors. I promised Lola I'd let her give me a henna tattoo. Lasted longer than I thought. Wow, nice look, Angelo. <laughs> Next time, not on my face. Yo, little broski. Saw that fake positive review you gave my cafeteria grub on that gulp website. Way bonus. <gasps> Score! Two day passes to the pretzel convention. Ooh, papa! Yo, mucho thanks, so for the old school arcade collector tokens, bro. You'd be amazed what you find when you volunteer to clean out the garage with Mom. I love smashing things, especially things with candy inside. I was on a roll! It took eight months, but I finally had all the deals I needed for my perfect day. Well, almost. There were, unfortunately, some holdouts. Not a chance. Mr. Foot turned out to be a rather big obstacle since he was born suspicious of me. But I got another deal with Schmitty to put the sloppiest meal possible on the cafeteria menu the day of the parent-teacher conferences in exchange for a bunch more positive online reviews on Gulp. Under pseudonames, of course. Ah, my favorite tie! It's almost as if this food was sloppily prepared just so it would splatter. Luckily for Mr. Foot, I just happened to bring a change of tie to school that day. It was part of an old Halloween clown costume I also found in the garage clean-out. Thanks, Mom. Fine, I'll wear it. Psych! Sorry, here's your clown tie. Just messing with you. Ugh. Minetti was a tough nut to crack, because he insisted that I pretend to trip and fall every time I saw him for an entire month. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You never seem to get tired of watching me fall on my face. Every. Single. Time. <laughs> it didn't really hurt since I was wearing knee and elbow pads under all my clothes. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, it was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Minetti? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought this was my house. <laughs> <laughs> you fell. Who'd have thought the toughest deal to cut would be with Miss Perla? But persistence paid off. I promised Perla to throw a school bake sale with all the proceeds going to art supplies. <sighs> Fine. You know, baking stuff takes a lot of time. So I convinced Cupcake Kathy to donate her cupcakes in exchange for a little help in the love department. Just a little throwback to earlier in the story. Before I got kicked out of the mall, I told the security guard that Kathy had a little crush on him. Yeah. Hey, yo, okay. I was wondering, you know, if you're not busy later, then hey, you know, maybe uh, hey, you and I could you know, catch a movie or you know, something. I'm sure your head's spinning by now. But I never said a perfect day didn't take perfect planning. Angelo, I got those front row slobber tickets like you asked. Merci beaucoup.
Goku, AJ. Perfect day is no longer ruined. Your limo is awaiting, sir. Arigato, my good man. Whatever. Just get in and let's get this day over with, please. Ugh, it's just plain amazing how well this all worked out. Boy, I'm exhausted from doing nothing. Ah, the perfect day. Angelo! Ah! Make me a smoothie! Now! Wait! What? You can't! I'm about to complete a perfect day here! Do I care? No, I don't. But you still owe me from three weeks ago when I helped you with your homework. <laughs> We pinky shook on it. <laughs> Remember, no take backsies. So you better blend up a smoothie for me now. Ugh. And put my chia seeds in. They're supposed to moisturize your face. I almost had the perfect day. Almost. Well, you know what that means, right? Time to start planning my next perfect day. Pinky shake on that. Liked this episode. It's the best Angelo rules ever.